Cutscene, probably. Yep. No way. What do we do? <laughs> wow. Sandinista's right. I'm looking for someone. El comandante. Shh. He's dead. They killed nuestro viejo. You're his daughter. Then that makes you his delegado, right? Relax. I'm not your enemy. No soy tu enemigo. Cuban. Cubana. Hmm. A cigar? I'll take whatever you've got. That looks like a penis. <laughs> he looks like he's flinging a penis. One. But I prefer cigarettes, you know. How do I look? A little like El Che, no? You Cuba? You are. Mm, Colombiano. A photographer. Huh. I came to Costa Rica to take pictures of birds. Birds? Okay. Yeah, uh, castles. You've got no telephoto lens. How do you get your shots? Telephotos for amateurs. It's all in the timing. Oh. Let me smoke okay. too. We can talk until I finish this. Chico! Tell Coño me what's Chico. Going on here. This place is crawling with soldiers. They don't look like private security. More like hired guns. They're loaded with the latest gear from all over the world. I heard there are security force hired by Codessa. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Papa Noel. Those guys are UCLA's. UCLA's. You see a lot of Asians. I saw them setting up shop in town. They're planning to do here what they did in Chile. If that's the case, what are they after? Whatever it is, it's not us. You don't think they're here to push you back into Nicaragua? Impossible. Too much hardware. Too many bases. Didn't you see? They've got helicopters, tanks. It's like we're in Da Nang. There must be something else. They have a base near here. There's a factory to the north, across a suspension bridge. Factory to the north, across a bridge. Have you seen the big transport boat, mercenary crew, on the Rio del Jade? It is hot. In the barge? It's upstream from here. Up toward Yarasu. Hmm. Any idea what's on it? I could introduce you to some of our compas up there. But I don't recommend going to the mountains. We've lost a lot of people there. They take us captive, torture us for information about our compass, and then they kill us like pigs. Got it. All right. Ay, caramba. This was our last hideout, the final refuge for El Frente, after being pushed out of Nicaragua and into this peaceful paradise of Costa Rica. Then, El Monstruo attacked. A monster. Y mi viejo. Mi viejo, papá, tú es la esperanza, our hope. Now that papá's gone, my sister's la comandante de la revolución. Do not listen to him. Papá was a hero who fought by Sandino's side. I am only his daughter. You're a hot daughter. You need a special talent to become cacique. Take it takes someone day, great to unite all of las compas. Sorry to interrupt, but leaders don't choose themselves. Neither do heroes. You carry on his legacy of La Esperanza, and they'll follow you, no question. You think so? My compas trust me, but not one of them calls me Comandante. Amanda! <laughs> See what I mean? This was your heart. Colibri! <laughs> Colibri? Oh, that frickin' tune. No.
Nope, I think it's an interactive cutscene here. I think I'm gonna aim. <laughs> Oh, yes I am. Uh, BAM! Wait, whoa, 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 R1, R1. Keep pressing the trigger button. Seems more natural for me, because it's a freaking trigger, you know? But oh well, same difference. Alright. Kablam! Ay, carajo. An unmanned weapon! A robot! No! He won't survive the fall! Out of my way! Better for him to die at the hand of a compa than suffer their torture! Stay here. As long as I'm still alive, I might as well retain. I'm not gonna lie, the cutscenes here are really good. Even if it is in that comic strip style thing. I don't know. I really like them. Weapon experience. MK22, level 1, clear time, blah blah blah. Rank A? Oh. I don't know how to get S rank. It's probably the time. I probably have to, like, really move it. Enemy soldiers extracted with Fulton 9. Obtain design specs for the following weapons and item. M1911A1, design specs rank 1. Oh, yeah, that's the silenced pistol. Snake, what was that thing? Whatever it was, it looked unmanned. Unmanned? I'd heard rumors, but an operational unit? What the hell is going on here? Not to quote Amanda, but the hardware they've got here isn't just unusual, it's overkill. Which means one thing, it's nukes. Of course. So the question now becomes, why? We can't make that call yet. We need more intel. How? Our source is dead. But his daughter isn't. Good thing. His hot daughter. We can follow her. Head for the next outpost and make contact with Amanda if she's still alive. Roger. Or I'll make contact with her. My snake will make contact, all right. Oh, yeah. All right, enough of the creepy stuff. <laughs> Woo! She is kind of hot, though. Missiles. Law rank one. Disposable rocket launcher, compact and light, making it possible to carry several at once. A downside is its weak power. Great. Analyzer rank one. Device that analyzes information about enemies. When equipped, it will display various information on nearby enemies. and valuable tool for executing missions. Cool. Lobster. Interesting. Nine new members. Let's uh, manage our staff here first. Whoa, we got a lot of people here in the waiting room. Woo! Alright, let's, um... Let's just auto-assign. For now. Handguns M1911A1, rank 1. Deploy... Uh, development ready for development. Development cost, GMP 2260. Yeah, I've got a lot of money. I can spare, you know, a few thousand. Okay, cool. Let's go to R&D. Weapons, uh, yeah, I like this weapon right here. I may try to do a no-kill playthrough. Well, actually, is that even possible? Yeah, I don't think it is, actually, because there are some missions where you just have to go guns blazing, but I don't know. Smoke G. Smoke grenade. I I have never used smoke grenade. I think it's useless. I may be underestimating it, I don't know, but for me it's always been useless. Mike? Oh no, M1C, right? It's a sniper rifle. I'll definitely take that. And items. Nothing here. Nothing here. Perfect. We're good. Um... So we got R&D, staff, yeah, I think we're good. Let's do another mission. Go meet Amanda. Pursue Amanda. Damn straight, I'll pursue Amanda. Alright. Oh, full-term recovery is actually mission 10. No limit. 
Target practice. Uh, do I actually? Yeah, might as well. Commence target practice. As a special treat, you can practice freely on any of the targets in the shooting range today. Shoot away. When you're done, head over to the exit. Got it. Let's see, briefing files, mission prep. Let's give him a good weapon. This one's good, assault rifle. And let's do it then. Not much else to it, really. Welcome to the shooting range. Just the place for a little target practice, huh? When you're done, head over to the exit. Aight. Uh, let's use this weapon here. Commence target practice. Concentrate, young. Bam. Oh god, bam! I'm a little rusty. There we go. Getting my mojo back here. Oh, whoa. Ah, I missed. Shit. So I'm guessing I'm not supposed to shoot the guy with the hands up. Damn, I missed. There you go. Oh, yeah, these guys are pretty far away. There you go. Ah, I missed. Ugh, I missed again. Whatever, I'd rather shoot their bodies than completely miss. I'm trying to go for headshots every- What? I hit his neck! That's some bullshit. Oh shit, I forgot about that one. Okay, this is bad. Oh my god! Yep, my mojo's gone. Oh my god, how did I miss the head at such close range? There you go. Jesus. There you go. There you go. Yes. Ridiculous. Alright, his arm. Missed. There you go. I hit his head. That one. There you go. I really wish I had a mouse and keyboard right about now. Never been really good with analog sticks. How long does this last? Is it, is it unlimited, basically? I think it is. Yep, I think it is. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm done. I hope it's unlimited. Yeah, it is unlimited. It's just a repeating pattern. So, I'm out. That was a uh, good practice. Good practice. Training exercise complete. All right. Let's do... Yeah, I'm going to try to do as many side ops as possible throughout uh, this young play. So... Yeah, we'll see what happens. Listen, boss. We both know you're the reason MSF's grown so much. Damn but straight. We started putting more thought into provisions. Good point. A place this big needs a good stockpile on hand. The Japanese say you can't fight on an empty stomach. Something we learned in World War II. Obviously. Maintaining a steady supply of provisions is one of the basic principles of logistics. So I went ahead and set up a mess hall team. The team members' numbers and abilities will affect the amount of grub to go around. Without enough food, morale will drop. They get hungry enough, and we could start losing people. Anyway, I need you to assign guys to the mess hall team. Copy that. Alright, let's do that, actually.